There's no doubt about it, the North Face has a ton of backpacks. Today, we're comparing four popular bags from the brand. I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. The Recon, the Surge, the Jester, and the Borealis are capable day packs that can work well as personal items or carry-on bags for short trips. But which one is right for you? Let's take a look. And for more bags from brands like the North Face, be sure to check out Backcountry, this video's sponsor. Link in the description below. Let's dive in. Though some of these bags look more similar to each other than others, they have a lot in common. Where the most similarities lie is in access, carry comfort, and organization. All four walk the line between the size of a large day pack and a medium backpack. The Surge is the largest at 31 liters, then the Recon follows at 30 liters with the Borealis and the Jester at 28. The heights range from 20 inches for the Surge to 19 and 3 quarters for the Borealis, 19.3 inches for the Recon and 18 inches for the Jester. Each also includes the North Face's flex vent suspension system. This combines a well-padded back panel and shoulder straps with an air channel for ventilation. And they're available in women's focus styles, which are designed to fit shorter torsos. These packs all have side water bottle pockets and front admin panels to keep your gear organized. Each provides access to the main compartment through a horseshoe style opening. However, since there's no extra organization, you'll wanna ensure the gear you need en route is in cubes and easy to access near the top. On the downside, none of these packs have strap keepers. And although the North Face advertises each as having a stand-up design, the Surge and the Borealis manage better than the others. From different pockets and attachment points to how heavy each pack is, key features set these bags apart. After all, there'd be no reason to pick one over the other if they were identical. At first glance, the noticeable differences include front panel bungees on the Borealis and Jester backpacks, where you can tuck an extra layer or wet gear. The Recon has a front mesh pocket instead, and the Surge opts for two individual zippered pockets. However, you can still attach gear to the outside of your pack like with the bungees. Both bags have vertical sets of daisy chain attachment points for hooking small items like hand sanitizer or a packable towel. The bottle pockets on each bag differ as well. The pockets on the Surge, Recon, and Borealis are thick nylon with fabric gussets and elastic at the top to accommodate wider bottles. However, the Recon also has compression straps over the pockets to hold hydration in place. And the Borealis has a bungee system similar to that on its front. Meanwhile, the Jester's pockets are made with mesh and lack any way of holding bottles in place. There are other features shared between the Surge, Recon, and Borealis that the Jester lacks. The short piece of webbing connecting the shoulder straps to the bag allows the straps to move freely for a more comfortable carry. They also have hip belts for added support and a larger lumbar cushion on the back panel. The Jester is also missing a front quick access pocket lined with super soft material for easily scratched gear like sunglasses and the two straps that run along the bottom of the other three packs. These straps serve the dual purpose of compressing the bottom of the bag or holding onto bulky gear that won't fit inside like a tripod. The North Face uses SBS zippers and Mugen hardware in the Jester, while there are YKK zippers, Duraflex, and ITW hardware on the other three. However, weighing in at roughly a pound and a half, the Jester is a full pound lighter than the rest. When you're deciding on a new pack like these from the North Face, check out Backcountry, this video's sponsor. From capacity to carry straps, there's plenty to consider when shopping for a new backpack. The list grows even longer when adding top brands to the mix. Backcountry has hundreds of brands to choose from, so narrow down your options using their site filters to shop by size, activity, and color. If you still can't decide, check out their detailed product pages for all of the information you need to make the best choice for your style. Once you've found the right bag, Backcountry can help you fill it, whether it's with packing cubes, stop kits, or a packable jacket. Use an ultralight roll organizer from Osprey for your toiletries, or pick up a new eye mask from Eagle Creek to catch some shut eye on the plane. And bring along a hydro flask to stay energized on the journey ahead. If you need help deciding what to get, Backcountry's gearheads are available with advice 24-7 via web chat, email, or phone. Then use the code in the description below for 15% off your first order and you'll be ready to hit the road. Now, let's get back to the backpacks. The Surge incorporates its storage into the bag rather than on the outside. The twin pockets hugging the front panel give it a sleek look compared to the other three packs. Instead of one admin panel spanning the width of the bag, the Surge has the same organizational features spread over three different pockets. The front pocket on the left side includes four slit pockets with staggered depths. The twin pocket on the right is an open space, making it great for taller items or even another water bottle. However, beware of packing bulky gear here, as the front pockets share capacity with the main compartment. Whether this division works for you depends on what you're carrying. For all your other gear, including small devices, there's a top admin pocket with plenty of organization for all your essentials. 
There's also a laptop compartment that can hold a 17-inch computer as well as a tablet. This is the tallest pack out of the four, and while that's great for larger tech, petite users may find the curved and padded back panel too long. Instead, consider opting for the women's version, which is a half inch shorter than the original. The Recon is the most similar to the Surge, though it has a more adventurous edge. It has a sleek look with features that help it blend in outdoors as well. Like the Surge, the admin panel on the Recon is wide enough to accommodate the tablet sleeve, a pen slot, and a zippered pouch for storing cords and chargers. The Recon is slightly shorter than the Surge, and it's enough to avoid the bottom rubbing the lower back of some users, although it's only rated for a 16-inch device instead of a 17. A larger device may fit, though your mileage may vary. The stretchy mesh pocket on the front accommodates extra items like a packable jacket and works well for smaller gear like museum maps. However, while the mesh is breathable, your wet gear could cause puddles at the bottom if you pop in a damp rain jacket, since the mesh stops an inch from the end of the pocket. It gives the bag a sleeker look than bungee cords, although the downside is that it can't hold very large gear like the bungees can. Compared to the Surge and the Recon, the Borealis has a more casual look. That's primarily due to the bungee cords replacing the pockets on the front. They're great for sandals, damp jackets, or towels since the gear will be completely separate from your clean and dry clothes and tech. With three attachment points for the bungees on each side and one at the bottom, it holds your gear tight and keeps it from slipping out. Stuffing the main compartment with packing cubes will affect how much can be squeezed into the bungee, though there is a bit of extra cord to play with so you can dial it in. Inside, the admin panel and laptop compartment mirror that of the Recon, though the back panel of the Borealis is longer like the Surge, so shorter users may want to opt for the women's version. As for the last pack, the Jester is the least like the others. It's the lightest weight of the four packs and the lightest on your wallet. On its face, the Jester looks like the little brother of the Borealis. It has bungees on the front for bulky gear and a front admin panel too. However, cutting the price comes at a cost of some features. The front admin panel only has two pockets, though it has an extra pen slot and a zippered pouch with a key clip. However, there's no dedicated sleeve for a tablet or e-reader. While you could slide it in front of the pockets, the SBS zippers tend to unzip easily on their own when there's too much weight against the front panel, so it could fall out. And while the other three packs have separate laptop compartments, the Jester has a padded sleeve in the main compartment that fits up to a 15-inch device. If you have to pull out your computer on the plane, you'll want to unzip only part way down to avoid spilling your packing cubes or clothing on your seatmate. Finally, the Jester's frame sheet is more flexible than the other three packs. While this means it's lacking in structure, we found that it's still comfortable to carry and holds its own well enough. As the sleekest of the packs, the Surge looks good in metro areas. It's also the largest in capacity, so it's easy to use for one bag travel when you want to get away. Toss your wallet, passport, and phone in the soft, quick access pocket to keep them within reach for security, and then stow smaller gear in the twin pockets below. You'll have no trouble finding your AirPods, battery banks, and wall chargers in the admin panel. Since you can carry a laptop and a tablet in the rear compartment, you can switch easily between work and play. And the bottom straps will help compress the bag to fit into tight places on public transportation. The Recon may be your best bet if you enjoy using one bag for outdoor activities and everyday adventures. The bottom straps can hold tight to a yoga mat just as well as collapsible hiking poles or a tripod, and they also dial in the bag's depth when you unpack at your destination. Pull out your laptop, hang a hydration bladder from the hook and loop fastener, and snake the tube through a hidden hole at the top to turn it into a hiking pack. When you're exploring a new city, the mesh pocket can hold maps and snacks, and it's big enough for your jacket or ultralight towel when you're adventuring in the great outdoors. It's closer in capacity to the Surge, which makes it a great bag for everyday use and weekend travel. The Borealis has a look that's more polished than the Jester, yet still rugged. We think it's excellent for those adventuring into the great outdoors. While the bungees give you options for how to carry your gear, it has the same capacity as the Jester in a sturdier bag and the separate laptop compartment can accommodate a hydration pack like the Recon. It has a pass-through for the tube so you can drink as you hike, and the movable sternum strap and hip belt will help you carry the load as you go. The Jester is a great option if you're on a budget or looking for a lighter weight pack. Its integrated laptop sleeve and easy carry make it the best for hauling across campus or the city. You'll be able to grab your device at the same time as your textbook or extra layer, and there's also plenty of room for tech pouches, lunch, and gym clothes. Although it lacks compression straps and a waist belt, we don't miss it much on the more minimalist footprint. There's still enough space in the main compartment to pack clothes, cubes, or pouches when you want to travel, so it works as a personal item or to carry on a trip for a few nights. So there you have it, the lowdown on the Surge, Recon, Borealis, and Jester from the North Face. Let us know in the comments below how you decide which bag to get, because remember, some of the best tips come from you, the Pack Hacker community, right here on YouTube. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next video.